Hey guys, uh, back again for the second part of the uh, Jammer Genesis project. Um, made some progress on this uh, from uh, the last video. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but uh, before I jump into that, one of the questions that I was asked a lot of, um, I got some uh, PMs from uh, YouTube the other day, asking me how I actually knew about the right pins on the video encoder which pins I needed to use and which pins on the fingerboard needed to be uh, connected to. Um, to answer that question, basically um, what you need to do is when you open up your Genesis and look at your um, uh, encoder chip, first you want to figure out you know what the model number of the encoder chip is and like I mentioned in the first video mine's the uh, KA2195D um, and then what you want to do is just do a Google search to get um, the pinouts uh, or a schematic on what it looks like. Um, so if, if you kind of Google KA2195 pinouts, you'll get some sites where um, they'll uh, you know have the, the, the schematic for you. So over here on the uh, computer, you can see here's the uh, pinouts for the 2195D. Um, and we're in, like I said, we're interested in the RGB output um, a ground pin and a sync sync out pin. So as you can see from this uh, diagram here, the RGB outputs are 22. I'm sorry, 23, 22, and 21. Uh, our sync output is 11, and we can use pin one or pin 22 for the grounds. Now I use pin one because uh, we've wired up these three here and. You know, I just I didn't want to uh, have another white close to red and, and have them touch each other or anything like that. I just tried to keep it as far away as possible. So that's uh, that's how you uh, you do that. And um, if we go back to here, um, sorry about this. Uh, doesn't seem to focus very well at, at all today. Um, these three top wires are the uh, red, uh, green, and blue wires. So that's. Uh, pin 23 there, pin 22 and pin 21. There's pin 0 which is, I'm sorry, pin 1 which is the ground and uh, pin 11 is the uh, sync out. So that's uh, that's how that happens and uh, so that's pretty straightforward and um, I've done two of these uh, Genesis Jammer mods and the, the layout of the pins um, on these chips uh, are identical. So the last the last one I did w had a uh, Sony encoder, and the position of the red, green, and blue sync and ground pins were exactly the same, which kind of makes sense um, if you think about it. So second question was, well, where do they actually go to on the fingerboard? Well, this is a mess of wires, so it's pretty hard to show you, but I've got a uh, another fingerboard here, which is what I use for this project. Um, and incidentally, you can get these uh, fingerboards from uh, jammerboards.com, and they're very, very handy for these kind of projects. And uh, it's really hard to see. Um, this uh, camera is having a real hard time focusing. But basically, you've got um, some pins here where it says uh, video, and you've got red, green, blue, sync, and ground. Um, and it's going to be pins 12, 13, 14, N, and P. Um, and all you're basically doing is taking your red from your encoder into your red here, green, blue, sync, and ground. And um, you just wire these up. And uh, that's how you, uh, you achieve your video. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The other thing I would recommend you do is with a multimeter, just make sure that you don't have any um, wires kind of touching each other. Um, so just do a, a basic continuity test against each of the wires um, and each other, each of the pins, I guess, and, and make sure there's no kind of short or anything like that. But um, really easy to do that. Uh, that so that's basically uh, five wires to get your uh, your video output um, onto your jammer fingerboard and ultimately onto the jammer harness okay so going back to um, what I have achieved um, since the last video um, what I've done is I've taken um, the uh, plus 5 volts from the regulator and a ground 
and they've been wired up to the fingerboard as well so if we go back to our test board here or our sample board we've wired uh, plus 5 volts up to any of these plus 5 volt pins as uh, I think there's four of them six of them actually you can pick from and uh, and the ground so what that is going to do is allow us to actually power up the uh, Genesis system through um, the jammer harness which comes from the power supply in the cab that you're using or or um, wherever you're um, you know if you've got a super gun uh, the super gun power supply but no need for an external um, don't need the external power anymore to make that work so um, the power will come directly into the jammer harness which is pretty cool and um, the last thing that I've done um, is I've taken audio um, as well and um, actually I, I just kind of saw this just before uh, I'm, I'm actually pulling audio from the audio out pin um, on the uh, on the uh, connector here which is on the underside so this pin here is actually your audio out pin and your ground um, and they go into the fingerboards um, as well obviously and they will be uh, pin 10 and 11 and uh, if you look at pin 10 and 11 here it's your speaker plus and minus so your your ground goes to your speaker minus and um, your audio out goes to pin 10 your speaker plus um, but one thing I just noticed guys is uh, I may actually be able to take uh, audio out directly from the encoder chip as well as you can see I may look at doing that that may actually give us a, a boost in the audio signal because I remember the first jammer Genesis that I did the uh, the audio was fine it was just a little bit on the soft side so um, I just wonder if that will actually increase the signal in some fashion but uh, in any case um, we have uh, audio and we have power now so um, this is almost ready to go quite honestly the the last thing we need to do is um, you know uh, do a, a pad hack where we are uh, um, wire up a controller um, directly to the, uh, the, you know, the the joystick pins and and um, take the uh, the uh, button button presses from the uh, gamepad and wire them up directly to the uh, you know the the player one player two uh, pins here on the uh, jammer harness. So um, that'll be uh, part three of this video. But uh, what I thought we would do in the meantime is um, with this, uh, let's plug this into the uh, the cab and um, let's take a look at the progress of it. All right, uh, we're ready to test this out. We've got our um, jammer harness connected to the uh, fingerboard. And um, so as you can see this time, we don't have any external power at all. Um, so let's take our Strider cartridge and uh, just plug it in there. And um, we should turn this on. Once we turn on the, uh, the power, uh, it'll fire up and hopefully we'll have uh, the video obviously will still should should still work unless I've messed up a wire or something or a wires come loose but everything seems to be okay let's turn on the cab and we should have uh, full video and sound so the, the red lights come on there which is good and we still have our video so we should have some sound let's just wait for it to jump into our demo mode here there we go so now we have sound coming out and uh, the power is being driven by the jammer harness plus 5 volts so we're uh, we're almost uh, yeah I mean I would say we're about 75% complete on this project like I said the uh, wiring up of the gamepad is just it's not uh, it's not difficult it's just there's a lot of wires to, to wire up obviously if you think about it you got to wire um, four buttons for the directions uh, three buttons for the ABC and then uh, your start button as well so um, you know there's a lot of wiring to do um, but uh, we'll, we'll uh, look at that on the uh, the third part of this but um, for now um, yeah we're uh, certainly well on the way to uh, completely uh, jammerizing this uh, Genesis all right guys well um, we'll catch you again in part three and uh, have a good one <laughs>